The 2025 CBN 78, also known as the USS Gerald R. Ford, the lead ship of its class and a marvel of modern naval aviation. As the most technologically advanced aircraft carrier in the world, the CBN 78 represents a giant leap forward in design, capability, and operational efficiency. One of the standout features is the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS, which replaces the traditional steam catapults. This allows for smoother, more controlled launches and accommodates a wider range of aircraft types, from unmanned drones to fully loaded fighter jets. The 2025 update to the CBN-78 includes improved propulsion systems, advanced radar and sensor arrays, and enhanced defense mechanisms. Powered by two A1B nuclear reactors, the ship can reach speeds of over 30 knots and operate for over 20 years without refueling. This gives it unmatched endurance and strategic mobility across the globe. The island superstructure is more compact, providing more deck space for flight operations and improving aircraft handling efficiency. The carrier also includes the latest in automated systems, which significantly reduce crew requirements. With a complement of around 2,600 sailors, the CBN-78 class requires fewer personnel compared to its predecessors while still maintaining superior operational capacity. This reduction in manpower not only improves efficiency but also reduces long-term operational costs. The updated advanced weapons elevators on board are capable of moving ordnance faster and more safely between decks, increasing sortie rates and response time during combat operations. In terms of air wing capacity, the 2025 CBN-78 can house more than 75 aircraft, including F-35C Lightning IIs, E-2D Advanced Hawkeyes, and MQ-25 Stingray refueling drones. These aircraft can be rapidly deployed thanks to the integrated digital flight deck systems and optimized hangar bay layouts. The carrier also features enhanced cybersecurity systems and an advanced combat management network that allows seamless coordination with other naval assets and allied forces. What sets the 2025 CBN-78 apart is not just its raw power but its ability to project American sea power across oceans with precision, efficiency, and technological superiority. It embodies the future of naval aviation and is a cornerstone of maritime defense strategy for decades to come. Thank you for watching this detailed review of the 2025 CBN-78. The 2025 CB-17, also known as the Shandong, China's first domestically built aircraft carrier and a major milestone in the modernization of the People's Liberation Army Navy. As the second operational carrier in China's fleet, the CB-17 marks a significant step in expanding China's Blue Water Naval capabilities and projecting power across Asia and beyond. The 2025 version of the CB-17 comes with several upgrades that improve its operational performance and combat readiness. It is based on the Soviet-designed Kuznetsov-class platform but features many enhancements that are uniquely Chinese. The ship utilizes a ski-jump-style flight deck to launch aircraft, a design that, while limiting heavier aircraft operations, allows for simpler and more cost-effective carrier operations. The CB-17 is conventionally powered, relying on steam turbines, and is capable of speeds up to 30 knots. It carries a standard air wing of J-15 fighter jets, along with Z-18 helicopters for transport, anti-submarine warfare, and airborne early warning. The 2025 update also brings in integration with the KJ-600, a carrier-based AEW aircraft under development, which will significantly boost the carrier's situational awareness and battle management capabilities. Onboard technology has seen major improvements in the 2025 model. Radar systems have been upgraded for enhanced detection range and accuracy, and electronic warfare systems now offer greater resistance to jamming and cyber interference. The command and control infrastructure onboard is now more automated and networked, allowing seamless coordination with surface ships, submarines, and aircraft. Defensive systems include close-in weapon systems like the Type 1130 SUS and Florida 3000N missile defense units, providing a robust shield against incoming threats. The ship's layout has been optimized for quicker aircraft handling and more efficient hangar operations, allowing for faster sortie generation during missions. This improved efficiency is crucial during high-intensity combat scenarios. 
While the CB the 17th of may not match the size and power of US supercarriers, its 2025 advancements make it a formidable asset in the Indo-Pacific region. It reflects China's ambitions to become a major naval power and demonstrates significant technological progress in carrier design and fleet integration. Thank you for joining us on this detailed breakdown of the 2025 CB-17 aircraft carrier. If you enjoy deep dives into aviation and naval technology, make sure to like this video and subscribe to ZK Skybound Aviation for more content that takes your passion to the next level. Dot.